Hey everyone, the Blunt Calvinist here. Today, we're diving into a significant topic in Christian theology, eternal security. Did the earliest Christians believe in the eternal security of salvation, or did they think salvation could be lost? And how do we reconcile different biblical passages on this issue? Early Christian views. Early Christians had varied perspectives on salvation. Some, like Augustine of Hippo, believed in eternal security. He emphasized that those who are truly regenerated and elected by God will persevere to the end. On the other hand, early church figures like Tertullian and Origen suggested that salvation could be lost through serious sin and apostasy, emphasizing repentance and penance. Biblical Evidence The New Testament contains passages that support both eternal security and warnings against falling away. Let's look at some key themes, God's sovereignty and election. John 6 verses 37 to 40 ESV. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. Romans 8 verses 29 to 30 ESV. For those whom he foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son. And those whom he predestined he also called, and those whom he called he also justified and those whom he justified he also glorified. Security of Believers John 10 verses 28 to 29 ESV I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 ESV For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Warnings against falling away, Hebrews 6 verses 4 to 6, ESV. For it is impossible, in the case of those who have once been enlightened, and then have fallen away, to restore them again to repentance. Hebrews 10 verses 26 to 27, ESV. For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment. Perseverance and endurance, Matthew 24 verse 13 ESV, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. Philippians 1 verse 6 ESV, and I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Reconciling the views, to reconcile these perspectives, consider these points, the nature of true belief, the Bible distinguishes between genuine believers and those who merely profess faith. True believers, regenerated by the Holy Spirit, will persevere to the end. The warnings serve to exhort believers to remain faithful. Warnings as means, the warnings about falling away are real and serve as means God uses to ensure the perseverance of the saints, keeping true believers vigilant and dependent on God's grace. Perseverance of the saints, true believers will persevere because of God's sustaining grace. Assurances of eternal security emphasize God's faithfulness while warnings highlight human responsibility to continue in faith and obedience. Conclusion In conclusion, the Bible, when approached without contradictions, supports the doctrine of eternal security. Those who are truly saved are secure in their salvation because it is God who keeps them. The Bible's warnings encourage believers to remain faithful, revealing those who are not truly elect. Thus, eternal security guarantees that true believers will persevere to the end. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay rooted in the Word.